Okay, so in this video we're going to take a look at proof by induction. Now there's three types of proof by induction that we do on the leave insert. We have series, which we're going to do in this video. We also have proofs of divisibility and inequalities. I'll put links to videos for them in the description and comments below. The steps for proof by induction are always the same. We see we have them here, so I have them written out and I'm just going to fill in the steps in between each. What I'm asked to do is prove by induction for all n an element of n that 3 plus 7 plus 11 plus all the way up to plus 4n minus 1 is equal to 2n squared plus n. So step 1 is you always show it true for n equal to 1. So that'll be filling in 1 here and here. So that's 4 times 1 minus 1 equal to 2 times 1 squared plus 1. 4 times 1 is 4, minus 1 is 3. 1 squared is 1, times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So that shows that it is true for n equal to 1. Step 2 is we assume true for n equal to k. So for this, you just write out your series and put in k instead of n. So when we get to this stage here, we'll have for k plus 1 is equal to 2k squared plus k. That's all you need to do in step 2. We're going to use this in step 3 in a moment. You see that. Step 3, prove true for n equal to k plus 1. So in this step, you write out your series again, except you're going to put in k plus 1 instead of n. But we're also going to put in this term here before the k plus 1 term. So we have 3 plus 7 plus 11 plus up as far as this term which is 4k plus 1 and then we have our next term which is this with k plus 1 instead of n so that's going to be plus 4 times k plus 1 minus 1. That's the left hand side and on the right hand side we're putting in k plus 1 instead of n here so that would be 2 times k plus 1 squared plus k plus 1. Now the aim is to get the left hand side look exactly like the right hand side. Usually what I try to do is I try to do as much of work on the left hand side as I can and not much on the right, but sometimes you do a bit of work on both of them. The first step is always a substitution. We substitute instead of this bit we put in that. So instead of my 3 plus 7 plus 11 up to 4k plus 1, I put in 2k squared plus k. Then I have plus, I'm going to multiply this out just um, to have it multiplied out now. So it's 4 by k is 4k. 4 by 1 is 4. And then minus 1. On this hand, uh, right hand side then, I'm going to multiply out these brackets and see what I get. So squaring k plus 1 would be k squared plus 2k plus 1. Multiplying by 2 then would be 2k squared plus 4k plus 2. And then plus k plus 1. And let's tidy up and see what we have. Left hand side, I have 2k squared. I have k and 4k is 5k. And then I have 4 minus 1 is 3. On the right hand side, I have 2k squared. I have 4k plus k is 5k. And I have 2 plus 1 is 3. So we can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And then your last step is just your conclusion that you always do at the end. So step 4. P1 is true, we showed that in step 1. Assuming PK is true, so that's our assumption from step 2. If this is true, then step 3 is definitely true. So that's what I have here. And therefore, by induction, P of N is true for all N and element of N. So I have one for you to try here now. Uh, prove by induction for all N and element of N that 7 plus 9 plus 11 up to... 2n plus 5 is equal to n squared plus 6n. So very similar to the one that we just did. I want you to give that a try now and let us know how you get on in the comments.